The settings in this video will help your audio go from this into this. Here's how to do it. How's it going everyone? My name is Bizarre, and this is an updated version of the Audacity tutorial that I uploaded last year. After that upload gained pretty significant traction, Audacity did what we all love and changed everything with a new update. The settings in this tutorial will be the same as the previous one, however, everything sort of got mixed around within the Audacity software. Again, as a warning, keep in mind that you may have to tweak a few of these settings I'm about to show you to get your own perfect audio. And, as always, please consider subscribing to my channel if this video helped you in any way. So, from the beginning when opening up Audacity, we want to change the project rate and track settings. The new location for this will be at the top in the Edit tab, then into Preferences. Or, you can hit the Control p keyboard shortcut. From here, click into the Audio Settings, and then down to Quality. And here we can change what we need. It's typically recommended that you keep your sample rate at 44,100 Hz, or 48,000 Hz. I usually set mine to 44,100 Hz, but honestly you might not even be able to tell the difference between the two. Make sure you set it the same for both the project sample rate and the default sample rate. Also, let's change our default sample format to 32-bit float. Great! Now, let's go ahead and get our audio placed and or recorded. When recording, it's always a smart idea to leave 3-4 to four seconds of silence at the beginning and at the end to make our future editing selves very happy. So, record a bit of silence, say what you need to say, and then more silence. Hello, my name is Bizarre, and this is an updated Audacity tutorial. Once you're done, go ahead and hit the stop button up here to stop your recording. Now, let's go ahead and listen back to the raw recording. Hello, my name is Bizarre, and this is an updated Audacity tutorial. It doesn't sound that bad but I don't think it would keep the attention of anyone for longer than a few seconds. In my case, there's a little bit of background noise, so let's spice it up a little bit. Next, we're going to select the quiet part of the audio that we left at the beginning by clicking and dragging that part until it's highlighted. Next, come up to the top in the Effects tab. Look for Noise Removal and Repair, then click into Noise Reduction. For now, with the silent audio highlighted, all you need to click is Get Noise Profile. Then, the box will close and you can select your entire audio track by either double-clicking it or hitting the Ctrl-A keyboard shortcut. Once the entire track is selected, go back into the Noise Reduction window and tweak these settings. We'll set our Noise Reduction to 12, our Sensitivity to 12.50, and the Frequency Smoothing to 7. Finally, select the radio box for noise, set to reduce. Once you're finished, hit apply. Now, for more invasive background noise, you may have to repeat the noise removal process that we just did, starting from getting noise profile a couple times. Warning though, too much noise removal can dramatically alter your audio to include loss of audio, and even a hissing sound that's really annoying. But let's go ahead and have a listen back to what we have now. Hello, my name is Bizarre, and this is an updated Audacity tutorial. Definitely sounds a lot better. Alright, let's move on to the next setting. Making sure your entire track is still selected, come up to the Effects tab and look for Volume and Compression. Then, Normalize. Here, you're going to want to make sure that Remove DC Offset is checked, Normalize Maximum Amplitude, set to negative 1 decibels, is also checked, and Leave Normalize Stereo Channels Independently unchecked. Then hit Apply. As you can see, our audio spiked, but so did the noise levels. And again, we can repeat the noise removal method to remedy that. Next, still making sure that the entire track is selected, go back into the Effects tab, Volume and Compression, and this time select Compressor. Here. We'll set our threshold to negative 18, our noise floor to negative 40, our ratio to 2.5 to 1, our attack time to 1.80, and our release time to 11.1. .1. If you can't get those numbers exact, once you click on the slider, you can use the arrow keys on your keyboard to move it to where you need to go. Once all of those numbers are correct, 
hit apply. Depending on how long your recording is determines how long these edits usually take to make. Since the sample audio is only a couple of seconds, it doesn't take too long. But if your audio is 30 minutes to an hour or even more, it could take a few seconds up to a couple minutes. Now we're basically finished. In the previous tutorial, I included the filter curve equalizer to boost treble and bass, but I don't really like the way those effects sound anymore, so I won't be including them in this tutorial. Now that we've done these few simple edits, let's go ahead and listen to our completed audio. Hello, my name is Bizarre, and this is an updated Audacity tutorial. Perfect! If your audio seems too quiet here, you can adjust it with a track volume slider to the left of the audio track. Additionally, you can repeat the normalize effect to make the audio louder, but that's left to personal preference. Also, even though these effect settings are pretty quick and easy, we can add a macro to Audacity so that all you have to do is highlight your track and click a single button. I've linked to that guide in the description and the pinned comment below. That video will be on my Bizarre Studios channel, while I'll be posting more tutorials for Audacity, ACX, voiceover, and even streaming setups and guides. Again, if this tutorial helped you in any way, please be sure to subscribe and like and share the video to not only help me, but others who are wanting to have great sounding audio. If you have any questions, please drop a comment below and I'll try to answer as fast as I can. But anyways, that's enough for me in this video. My name is Bizarre, and I'll see you guys later. Hear the outro. He's bizarre. He's bizarre. He's bizarre. The saw steps to his mic to make his little sounds. The weaves jump up and cheer. Hit subscribe and stick around. ASMR most times with Minecraft on the side. Some modded games with Deku there to soothe you when you cry. Go ahead, close your eyes. Kick back and put him on. And get even more bizarre. Patreon, need a friendly pal to get you through the night. Well, get headphones, take a listen, and maybe hit subscribe. He's bizarre.